Well, National Cereal Day is Saturday, so now is the perfect time to look at what you're choosing for your morning meal. I love cereal. <laughs> we want to welcome Michelle Dudash, a registered dietitian here on behalf of our sponsor, RDTV. Thank you for being here. Oh, well, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So the quintessential breakfast is yes. cereal. We yes. all love it from our childhoods. What should we consider? when we're pouring that cereal into our bowl. Yeah, well there's a few things. You know, this is a great time, National Cereal Day coming up, to take a look and reboot those breakfast habits. Okay. So today I have three different stations and each one has its own specific benefit to us. Okay. Um, in addition to that amazing taste. So the first little station we have here, these are the, this is some fiber cereal. So what we have here, and of course I'm so excited to be working with Kellogg's on this to help people learn more about the benefits of cereal. So we have some frosted mini wheats and some raisin brand. So when it comes to fiber, we know it's important for digestive health, mm -hmm. for overall wellness, but it's really interesting because a recent survey from Kellogg's showed that 57% of Americans think they're getting enough fiber, mm. but in actuality, 97% of people, or 95% of people, sorry, are oh. actually falling short. So that is a huge, huge gap. number, yeah. And I, yeah. and I actually was not surprised to hear wow. that. Um, so you just have a bowl of cereal, you put some milk on there, and um, the other great thing is these cereals have 20% of the recommended daily value for fiber. You're also getting B vitamins, and you're getting iron. Okay, and those are two of my faves, so I'll probably have a little more than that one serving amount, so I'm doing good if I have some oh, of yeah, that, right? Oh yeah, of course, yes, absolutely. So those when are we talk too. fiber, yes. do we have to drink like grainy powdery drinks so we can get it other places right yeah. oh absolutely I'm all about real foods mm -hmm. so whenever you can choose a real food like cereal that is the best way to go okay. and of course more delicious right 100% way more delicious. 100% yeah. what do we have here okay so the next station this is our protein station so here what we have is our special K original now the cool thing is you know did you know actually that you can actually get double digit protein from breakfast cereal? I did not know that. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people do. Yeah. So what you do here, you have your serving of Special K. That's going to give you seven grams of protein. Mm -hmm. Then you have your uh, three quarters cup of milk. Okay. That's going to give you six grams protein. And then in total, you're getting 13 grams of protein. Wow. So again, yeah. six grams of protein from the milk, yep. three quarter cup and seven grams from the cereals. That's actually pretty impressive. I know, and I always tell people, start your day with protein. You know, a lot of people think bacon, eggs, yogurt, right. but they don't think about cereal, and right. that's just, yeah, so tasty and so easy. Okay, so what about combining a little fruit on top? Oh, I'm a big fan of fruit. In fact, yeah, I think go for whatever in season, whatever your favorites are, blueberries, raspberries, and, and that's the other great thing about cereal. It pairs mm. with so many nutritious foods, it like really fruit does. and milk. Yeah. It really does. And then finally, of course, we have our uh, category, our station here. These are the lower sugar. So okay. did you know that there are actually cereals out there several from Kellogg's that have less than five grams or five grams of sugar or less I did not per know serving. That. So that's what you find here. We have corn flakes, we have Rice Krispies, and Kellogg's cereals contain no high fructose corn syrup mm -hmm. either. That's great. So that's really cool. So you can make a parfait with these like you see here. Again, you put your fruit on there. So if you wanna do a little yeah. dip there. Tati, that's some um, yogurt, vanilla flavored yogurt. I love yogurt. Good, good. And then you just load in whatever favorite foods you have. Um, Raspberries, blueberries. So I would say, your and you know what's fun about this is that you yeah. don't have to have the same thing every single day. So oh, today, yeah. if I make a parfait, I can use some raspberries. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. use some blueberries. Yeah. Today, use cornflakes. Tomorrow, use rice krispies. Yeah. Just to keep it interesting, because yeah. I think that that's a challenge for people sometimes too. I agree. You know, I always keep in my pantry. I always keep. I have a full shelf of breakfast cereal. Mm. So there's always a great breakfast option that's healthy, that's fast. Fast. That's tasty. Is fast. Do you like cinnamon? I love cinnamon. You throw some cinnamon. I put in a little it. in my coffee. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. I yeah. like that. Just, you know, that's, switch it up, zhuzh it up, like keep it interesting. And I yeah. love blueberries, so I'm gonna keep on building this parfait. Perfect. So, what are some last words you have for us when we're thinking about cereal and incorporating it into our breakfast? Yeah, I think just yes. Start the day out right. Load it up with your favorite fruits. Mm -hmm. uh, remember this Saturday's uh, National Cereal Day, so make sure you head to your Kroger or your Meyer mm -hmm. to stock up and uh, just enjoy your favorites. Yeah, and have it there. Then I think you'll get more creative. I like how you said you keep it in your pantry. That makes a lot of sense. For more information on how to start your day right with one of these delicious cereals, visit the website kellogg's.com slash did you know.